What's going on everyone? My name is Josh and you're watching Five and Decide. Today, we're gonna unbox one of these Wizard World Comic-Con boxes. Yes, it's another subscription-based box made by the folks over there at Wizard World. And what they're trying to achieve here is actually bring Comic-Con straight to your doorstep. So if you are interested in purchasing something like this or subscribing to something like this, check out the website down below here, comicconbox.com. If you like what you see, maybe you'd want to subscribe. This is actually the first subscription box I'm ever opening. I've been following subscription boxes here and there, and this is the first time that I actually dove in and decided to sign up for these subscription boxes. You know, I'm very excited to be opening up my very first subscription box, and what better way to do it than to go with the Comic-Con box. This month, for August 2015, the theme is science. Before we open this box up, let's take a look at the art, actually, of what is on here. On the side, of course, you'll see the website, comicconbox.com, hashtag conlife, hashtag five and the side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top of the box. Uh, the Wizard World guy is front and center with the Comic Con box logo. And the little caption here, superhuman collectibles for the fans. So I'm excited. I hope you are. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and let's see what we get. All right, right off the bat, you can see there's some pretty nice things in here. First up, we have a pop vinyl figure of Loki. It's pretty cool that I got a Marvel one. Uh, other people have gotten different ones. If you want to take a look at that, we'll open them up and we'll take a closer look at it. You can look at the level of detail here on the Loki pop vinyl. You can see he has his bobblehead going on. He has his little knife here, eyes. The horns on the on the helmet. I really like the detail of the pop vinyl figures. I recently just got into collecting these pop vinyl figures, so this is pretty cool. You know, a great addition to my pop vinyl collection. Next up, let's see what we got here. We're gonna do the shirt. An alien shirt. It says how to make an alien. Ingredients. Step one, open the egg. Step two, attach egg contents to face. Step three, bake for approximately two to three hours, and then it's game over, man. I'm actually relieved to see a shirt that is not colored black. <laughs> a lot of the subscription boxes that I've seen, majority of them are colored black, so it's kind of refreshing to see this little neon green t-shirt. When we look at what's next, we have a portal keychain. Take a closer look at it. There's the Aperture Laboratories, the front of the portal gun. It's a pretty good replica. There is some discoloration right here and also right here, but nonetheless, it is a pretty cool portal gun keychain. Next up, we got these two, it looks like decks for a game called Universal Fighting System. This is a collectible card game. I know that this card game was around in 2012, 2013 or so. I believe it was based off of uh, fighting games at first, like games like Street Fighter, Tekken. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. Or if you have played this game, leave a comment below. Let me know what th this game is about. It looks pretty interesting. I am a Mega Man fan. It's pretty cool to see that it's Mega Man and Proto Man. I'm more of a fan of Proto Man than Mega Man. You can see two decks, two character decks, one for Mega Man, one for Proto Man. Along with it is this YouTube tutorial on how to play this particular fighting game. So I'm assuming they gave you two decks so that two people can play. One person can play as Mega Man, one person can play as Porter Man, and then you play with your cards and you go from there. Next up, we have this Star Trek Stick-Ons, Live Long and Prosper Star Trek. I'm not going to use it. I might just give it away. I really don't have any use for this. It's interesting. The next item we have here is actually an exclusive free full game download for speedrunners. I've never played this game. I have the code here. I don't think I'm going to be using it. If you're interested, let me know. Maybe I can shoot this over to you through PM. Next up, Spider-Man graphic novel. I am a Spider-Man fan, so it is pretty cool to get one of these. People get different comic books within their boxes, and so far, <laughs> this Comic-Con box has been two for two on the random items. One being the Loki pop vinyl, and the other one being this Spider-Man graphic novel series. Matters of Life and Death. 
I did say I am a Spider-Man fan. However, I have a lot of catching up to do in the comics. I have never read this particular story arc. It'll be nice to go through it and see what this story arc is about. So if you want to take a look, it looks like the Fantastic Four are involved in this. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Next up, we have a piece of art with looks like Godzilla and Attack on Titan. A pretty cool, this is actually a pretty cool piece of art. Love the artwork, love the different types of monsters, love the battle that they're having right here. You got that little Comic Con logo box logo down here on the bottom right. It's a pretty interesting piece of art, but would I hang it up in my room? I don't think I would. I'd probably just give this away as well. Stay tuned, we might be doing a huge giveaway based off of this box. There's only a few things here that I would personally keep for myself. And if I'm not going to keep it, might as well give it to you guys. Next up is Civil War number one, variant edition, specifically for these Comic-Con boxes. I read the first Civil War and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed reading that story arc. And finally, the last piece is, it's a bonus artwork from Billy Martin. We have Rocket Raccoon and also Stitch. This is a nice piece of art right here. This is actually pretty cool. All the things that we got, they're nice. Some of them I'll probably end up giving away. So a little recap on everything. We got the low-key pop vinyl, the two, two decks with the universal fighting system, the speedrunners, we got a Star Trek stick-ons, we got Portal 2 keychain of the Portal gun. We got this cool piece of art uh, based off of Attack on Titan and also Godzilla. You got the Civil War comic book, Spider-Man graphic novel of matters of life and death, and you also got the, the bonus art of Stitch and Rocket Raccoon. Not only that, you ended up getting the How to Make an Alien t-shirt as well. And as a reminder, this is what's coming up on box number five. The theme is back to old school. We got Batman. Joker, Harley Quinn, the Green Ranger, Wonder Woman, Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It looks like it's going to be a pretty cool box, so I'm excited. I'm excited for that. So there you have it. I have to say that I, I found it quite enjoyable. I, I got a couple things that I that I am definitely going to keep. I'm going to keep that low-key pop vinyl. The t-shirt, the Aliens t-shirt is very cool. That portal keychain was nice. The Spider-Man graphic novel, the Civil War variant cover issue number one. You know, there's some pretty cool things here and we might be giving away some of the other stuff as well. The two prints, ultimate fighting system cards, those things might be given away in a future video. So comment con box, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like what you see, I have much more content to come. Here at Five on the Side, we do a lot of things. We like to unbox things. I have plans for unboxing Legos. I have plans for unboxing action figures. I have plans of unboxing video games because I'm a fan of unboxing things and I hope you are too. Stay tuned. If you're interested, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And this is Josh from Five on the Side and I'll catch you guys next time.